Welcome back, I'm Nicole B.W. and this is a tutorial for Ender.io conduits. So let's get started. I don't want to waste any time. So here we go. There are many different conduits uh, from the Ender.io mod pack and there are liquid or fluid conduits. There's three different kinds there. There's uh, the normal, the pressurized, and the ender. So with these, you can see they have a max extract and a max IO. So how much they actually extract from the item and how much they move through the tubes and the ender ones instantly teleport the fluids uh, along the line so uh, that is the case and in this pack I have project E so ignore the the EMC part of it uh, so let's get rid of those uh, yeah so <laughs> then we have the energy one we have the energy conduit, the enhanced energy conduit, and the ender energy conduit. Again, these have a max output that are different. So even the small one is 640 RF a tick all the way up to 20,480 RF a tick. So you can choose your conduits that way. There are also ME conduits, uh, the regular and the dense, so you can use those for your ME system as well. And then there are redstone conduits, the uh, normal redstone conduits and the insulated, as well as the conduit switch. Now with this, you can right click with your hand to turn the redstone on and off and if you notice it turns green when it's on and red when it's off uh, so that is pretty cool that's the way it looks and i have one set up over here as well uh, because underneath these are the facades that cover up the cables and if we notice in here i have all the different kinds of conduits i have power fluid uh, item redstone and emmy all contained in one block and covered up so that way you cannot uh, you don't have to see it if we tap you can see that the redstone turned on and there it is turned off again uh, so that is a good way to cover up all of your cables in your base now along with the cables there are uh, there's a wrench that you can use and if you look down in the bottom corner uh, if you shift scroll wheel uh, now we just see the energy if we scroll again we just see the redstone there's the fluid there's the item and there's the Emmy and then we can go back to all again so that way if you just need to work on one kind you can uh, shift and scroll wheel to move through the different kinds of cables that you need to work on. There are also filters that you can put in the cables. Uh, so there is a normal item filter, there's the advanced item filter, there is the existing item filter. So if you have an item in a, or if you have items in a chest, you can shift right click with this and that will filter the items that are in the chest. Uh, there is the mod item filter, so you can, or mob item filter, uh, so you can filter out things that are for a certain mod or mob. Uh, and uh, let's see, the chargeable item filter, this you can use to detect how much energy something has in the inventory there's also uh, upgrades that you can put there are speed upgrades and then speed downgrades so if something is going too fast or 
uh, you can use the downgrades and if something is going too slow you can use the upgrades uh, there's one per and the max upgrades is 15 for the speed upgrades so that will make things move faster through the pipes now over here I have some machines set up along with some barrels these barrels are being filtered I have a uh, the painting machine, you'll need to use the block you want it to look like along with the facade in there. Uh, that's how you make those. Then I have some machines. I have some alloy smelters and sag mills set up over here along with some creative buffers. This just keeps the items that I'm having uh, smelted up. So I have iron ore being uh, grinded up and you get two iron, sometimes you get tin and ferrous, uh, sometimes you get cobble, uh, so that makes three different kinds of metals. This one is gold, so you get two gold, uh, and then sometimes you get copper and cobble as well uh, for those. Now with the conduits, you can have, um, if you click on the flat part that's against the machine, you can switch these. There is the item one and here is the tab for the energy one. The item one you can have extract, insert, disabled, in and out. And if you go over here, there's the extract so you can switch those around. Uh, but right now we just have it on extract. You can change the different channels so you can have different colors of channels. Uh, you just need to cycle through them. Uh, with your left and right mouse buttons. Uh, then you can change the redstone mode. Extract is always redstone enabled by default, so you'll have to go in and uh, to de-enable it. Uh, then you'll need a signal, signal color. I hardly ever change these. And then round robin, you can change that. This is where you'll need to put the filters and the upgrades in. And if we look in here, I have a basic item filter uh, that is only putting in, this is on the insert, uh, only pulling in the pulverized iron. It's on whitelist and you can have it match metadata, metadata or ignore metadata. You can also change this to blacklist if you want. Uh, then you can put a filter in the extract if you wanted uh, to do that as well. So again, over here we have gold and over here we have it set to uh, blacklist the iron and the gold so that way they're not going in there. So if you notice there are different colors, so these are the different channels that we have and I have different channels over there as well. Uh, you can also set these to, I think the insert, they have a uh, different priority. So if you want this to be a higher priority, so it goes in there first, uh, you can set that as well. So if you have a chest that's gonna collect all of the extra stuff that doesn't have a barrel, you can set that to a low priority, a negative number, and everything will go into there last. So I have the iron being extracted out, or everything in this, being extracted out on the purple channel as well as the gold. So in here we have it inserting on the purple channel and exporting on the gray channel. So if we look along here, the gray channel is right here and the gray channel is the iron. So that is where the iron is going in. Uh, I also have the gold coming out on the yellow channel. So there's the yellow channel there is the gold. So this one, we have uh, sand coming in on the orange channel, and the orange channel is over here. There is ooh, uh, sand right there. It is being filtered in on the white channel, which is coming from this one. So we have gravel in here being crushed up into sand, and sometimes it makes gravel as well or a uh, cobble being crushed up into sand and gravel. So that is coming out on the white channel. We have sand and gravel. So I'm pulling the sand out on the orange channel. It's going into here, smelting into glass, 
Then I have that pulling out on the brown channel and going into this one, so therefore it's less confusing. I also have these coming in uh, on the perp or the pink channel. It is smooth stone being smelt up as well as the rest of the stuff that's coming from the iron and the gold. So that would be these three items on the bottom as well as the one in the middle. I have all of those being inserted on the pink channel and uh, there they are. So there are different things that you can do with the channels. Uh, if you need to disable or re-enable something, uh, we have here the item duck is disabled. We can change that. So now that the item duck is in there, uh, the conduit, and it is now set to in and out. There it is on the extract mode, insert mode, and we can disable that again so it's not connected to there. So I hope that has helped with your understanding of the Ender IO cables. Uh, you can turn them uh, or cover them up so that way you don't even see them. You can put different colored channels on there, which is an amazing way to filter. Uh, you can use the filters on there to blacklist or whitelist different items. You can do speed upgrades so that way it's faster. And that is how you are able to sort your items. So I hope that this was a good uh, tutorial. I hope you understood some more things about Ender.io conduits. And if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.